Otto Sarabikian. How are you? Go to that mic, please. I knew that, yeah. You knew that? No, I didn't know All that. Right. Now, Inspector Quinn and uh, Mr. Butler, do you remember Mr. Sarabikian? He's been before the court before. You know, Mr. Sarabikian was a up-and-coming prize fighter who I thought was going to be a world champion. As a matter of fact, his fighting name was the Armenian Assassin. <laughs> Mr. Quinn, I don't want no trouble. Uh, Please. Believe me, I'm no mood to fight you this morning. I, little, I appreciate it. I'm a little it. tired myself. Inspector Quinn, what was your fighting name? I had too many of them, Judge. Can we have one? <laughs> uh, Mr. Butler, did, did you have a fighting name? No, I wasn't a fighting name. No? Okay. Arthur, you look a little tired. Where, where you been? Uh, working. Oh, you came from work? Yes. Oh, I'm glad to see you working. Where are you working? Uh, at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Civic Center? Yes. Inspector Quinn, yes. you remember Arthur Sarabikian was before us before. You know, Arthur was at the top, you know, and he got knocked down in life, in life. He got knocked down, and he was actually sleeping in his car. And so Arthur came in one day, and he's now working. He works midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning, you know. Gainfully employed, he's got his own apartment. He's made a pretty good comeback, and he's back on the right track. I'm so I'm so proud of you, Arthur. I oh, really thank you, Mr. Caprio. Mm. Me too. Every time I see him, I bang into him. He's got a smile on his face, so yeah. it's nice to see that nothing's going to keep you down there. Yeah. Nothing's going to keep this guy yeah, down. Not at right? all. Awesome. Um, but not only am I proud, my entire family who are familiar with Arthur's situation, we're all proud of him. And I'm the new member of the family, correct? He's, okay. He's, <laughs> I'm the new member. <laughs> Be careful, because then I won't be able to handle your case. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no problem. Uh, Arthur, you have a speeding ticket. Uh, you were caught on camera, but the good news is that you were like one mile over the limit, and we've been dismissing those, so I'm not doing anything special for you. Uh, with, this, with, with dismissing that case pursuant to a, a court policy. So the right. speeding ticket is gonna be dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. And, and then when you were homeless, uh, you have some overnight parking tickets because he was sleeping in his car, Inspector Quinn. Yes, Judge. Um, so how do you feel about that, Inspector Quinn? Uh, Your Honor, I believe uh, we had a ruling on this before. There was a similar situation where um, I believe it was a woman who was uh, also homeless was in the car. And uh, I, in good conscience, I couldn't uh, penalize someone for... Uh, for having to uh, park on the street when they have nowhere else to go, so. Um, okay, based on the recommendation of Inspector Quinn, uh, the parking tickets will be dismissed. Awesome. Arthur, well, we're all happy for you. Yeah, thank you, Judge Caprio. Yeah. The job is going well? It's awesome. And Very well. You have an apartment? Yes. It's nice and warm in the winter? It's great. <laughs> you got a nice soft bed to sleep in? Thanks to you, yes. The bed is comfortable? Very, very comfortable. <laughs> I have no complaints. Anyway. Mr. Inspect Quinn, I don't want no trouble, please. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. It's, it's reciprocal. I don't want any other. I told you, I'm a little tired this morning. My ribs are still sore, so. Uh, we, we could have a, like a, a challenge here between Inspector Quinn and uh, Mr. Saraviki. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Very true. By the time you turn that tape on, the fight's over. <laughs> You'll be down. <laughs> no, I... I have to raise it to a different level, Judge. I, oh, I can't get hit by that. <laughs> well, I don't know what year I'd wake up. <laughs> Arthur, again, congratulations to you on turning your life around. And I think you can, you can be an inspiration to other people who have similar circumstances to show uh -huh. that once you're down, it's not a sin to get knocked down. It's a sin not to get back up. You got back up. Correct. Thank you, Judge. So, so with our best wishes. Matter is dismissed. Good luck. You are the man. Thank you. Doris Vasquez. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Doris. Doris, you have a red light violation on Westminster and Manton. This was on uh, at 2.35 in the afternoon. We're going to take a look at it.
Okay, you made a right hand turn, and there's a sign right on red after stop. The vehicle did not stop. Were you operating the vehicle? No, at uh, that time it was my son. He was in my, my truck. So, and he's so, so responsible. But at that point, he said, I'm not receiving the, the letter because I see my mail last week because I have a surgery in my both sides. So, I have a, the bunch the mail in my in my house so when i check i found that this one last week and i explained to him and, he, and i told him i gotta go to court because my daughter i have a um implant a cornea implant in my eyes and she used my my another car so she have red light and the tick in the same day so in the night she had the, the over par parking she lived in Sunter street she got my car because i have a foster daughter too and she needs to bring her school in the morning so she have a parking overnight parking and the night in the morning she had a red light in broad street but i had to be responsible <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and i my daughter so good daughter my son too so oh yeah good kids yeah, thank Real God. Real good, good kids. I raised my child by myself, and I love for them. They always working. How many children? They going to college. Single mom. That's a absolutely right objective view. Her kids are good kids. <clears throat> yeah, I said thank God because <clears throat> single mom have a three child, or two boy and one girl, and they always go to college. My son is a uh, pharmacy techs. My daughter's. Secretary, medical assistant, and I'm happy with my, for my, I'm happy mom and happy grandma too. Now, you just explained to me that y your children both are working and making a lot of money so they can afford to pay these tickets. So, no, that, you know, they always help me because I'm disabled, so I'm not having a complaint about my child. Let's take a look and see how bad the red light was. It's uh, 454, Lisa. Let's take a look at it. Red. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> what's, the, what's the time on that? Oh, one three. All right. The, the uh, ticket on Westminster and Manton Avenue, <clears throat> that sign was put up two days before they, they got this ticket. You were allowed to make a right-hand turn on red, and then they put up this sign. Okay. So I'm going to take notice of the fact that your kids were using that area and I'm going to give them leeway on that, that two days. So I'm going to dismiss that ticket. Okay, thank you. The overnight parking ticket, I know you told me that... Yeah, that's you, my daughter, Audrey. You, you were having a, mm -hmm. an issue mm -hmm. with, a, with an implant. So I'm going to dismiss the parking ticket. It's going to cost you $85 for the red light. And I think what you should do is have both your kids pay $42.50 each. <laughs> you understand? You're, yeah. gonna, you're gonna do that? Oh yeah. Make sure now, forty-two fifty each. You tell them the judge charged me forty-two dollars and fifty cents each for you. Yeah. You told them they saved a lot of money. Okay, thank you. Because you made such a good presentation. Okay, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.